My dad showed me a drawing that he had done. I was seven years old. He had done a drawing of Ronald Coleman for my mother back in the 30s. And he was an artist and he wanted to at least introduce me to art. He showed me this picture of Ronald Coleman. I still have it. I have it hanging in my studio. And at that moment, I was just flabbergasted. I couldn't believe it. It was so beautiful. He never showed it again. He showed it to me once. He showed, we, I saw other drawings, but then he introduced me. He got a pencil out and he said, Do you like, would you like to start doing this? And I said, oh, in my little childish voice. Uh, and it was not long before I was on the front room floor with paper all over the place, drawing, sketching, tables, chairs, anything that was in front of me. I couldn't stop. Eventually I did uh, mostly oil on canvas and but pastel started sneaking in and uh, to me I was probably lucky in that nobody taught me how to draw with pastel or paint with pastel I still don't know how it's described so my approach with pastel was almost identical to my approach with a wide brush paint daub boom you put it down there in the same way I put boom down there with the pastel many pastel artists kind of sketch it in or cross hatch and so on do but mine was the same approach as with oil thinking of the uh, portrait of Laura the ballerina and it's uh, I have her sitting there as a as if she was in an audition I call it the audition and Laura in this portrait was just sitting there relaxed and that was what I painted. I love red. Red is my number one color and I felt that red was the perfect uh, color to put into it. Marvelous uh, ambience, aura, you've got charisma. And so what do you use for your shampoo? Not that it's going to help me. <laughs> I'm attracted artistically to uh, people of Mexico, males and females, as far as painting their portraits, portrayals, the, with their serapes, their ribosas, the uh, great color, the sun, you know, the whole feeling of uh, uh, joie de vivre, if we use a French, and uh, the feeling of the people, of the gusto and life that comes through. I've been doing for the last several years the covers for Film Facts magazine in Outre, and uh, the editor of that is uh, Michael Stein. He and I are good friends. We get on the phone and we start talking about old movies, especially the old B horrors and such. One take, and that was it. When we get a lot of reference material, come up with a great design, he's terrific. And we do the likes of Rod Serling and uh, Sheena. I've been doing it for a couple of years now and uh, each time I do it is a treat, a real treat. These are the people that I was raised with, that I was scared with. Christopher Lee, the Karloff. And for me, it's almost a purging of these old horrors that I had in the past, these waking up screaming two in the morning uh, nightmares that I had. I'm able to purge them on the cover of Film Facts. When I do a portrait of a person, I let that person go into my head, into my subconscious and out my fingertips. And I try to not get in the way of that moment. You know, every time I do a 
painting, and this is the absolute truth, as if I've been lying to you up to now, that I learn from every painting I do. I've learned 10 things from this one. Different things in lighting, subtleties and shadows, shapes of noses, lips. So I've learned from, and I want to thank you for teaching me, you know. Everybody has a different face, and every face teaches me a lesson or two. You know, the more I learn in art, the more I draw, the more I know that I don't know.